What's up YouTube? It's Mike with Eyes of Reptiles. So I rarely actually vlog with my camera the way I'm doing right now. So I don't mind my eyes looking. I'm not sure where to look yet. But anyhow, uh, actually let me do it this way. Uh, I just wanted to give a quick intro to my uh, to this video. Uh, basically, you know, it's a slow time of the year. I'm starting to get some clutches. But not a lot going on. But I figured I would show off. It's March here in Maryland, but it's still ice cold outside. Today is like 40. It's going down to the teens tonight. But uh, last week we had some um, we had some warm weather, and uh, I came out here to the turtle habitat, and sure enough, one of my North American woods had come up from the bottom of the pond. So I figured I would show you guys that real fast, show you the turtle habitat real quick. Um, and uh, also on this video, I'll have uh, clutch number twos coming out, shout out. Um, uh, yeah, so I guess that's about it. So let me flip you around real fast. So this is the pond. It's not frozen right now. It might freeze tonight. But I was standing out here. And uh, sure enough, right right there so it's real deep where they this is like one of the deepest areas is right around this thing and sure enough right there i was standing out here on a warm day mid 50s and the north american wood came up took a breath and then went back down but that's the first turtle i've seen since last spring it is i think supposed to start warming up soon but uh, i figured i'd show the enclosure at least one time when it's dead of winter so most of the box turtles are back here in that corner all right, the North American woods, I think, are both in the pond. I don't even know for sure about the one. There might be a couple of the two-year-olds in this leaf over here. That's where I last saw some of them. Nothing's in here right now. All the hatchlings are inside. So that's the big eastern box turtle, North American wood turtle enclosure. And then over here, this is the uh, Gulf Coast box turtles and eventually uh, there'll be some Chinese box turtles in here also. All right, they're all in this leaf litter and piles of stuff in the back here. But this is what it looks like in the dead of winter, right before spring. I plan on building a, another enclosure, I think this year, over against that back fence. It'll be for my marginated tortoises. All right, enjoy. So I wanted to give a quick shout out to Joel from State 48 Exotics. Uh, sorry I didn't do it sooner, it's been super busy. Happy to have your shirt on now, take a look at the shirt. Uh, again, anyone who wants to send me shirts or trade shirts, I'm totally, totally down. I love the reptile t-shirts. Uh, apparently I need double XL before anyone on YouTube makes fun of my belly. This is an XL, sorry, the guns are good, but the belly is not so much. But, I can suck in, right? Um, Anyhow, thank you Joel, State 48 Exotics. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. Uh, check it out real quick. Joel from State 48 Exotics, he's got some awesome projects going, clown pie projects. Uh, he's doing some hidden gene Woma clown stuff, uh, or hidden gene Woma pied stuff. But he's got some awesome stuff, definitely check him out. Thanks again, Joel. All right, this is clutch number two. It's a VPI Exanthic Spider, bred to a pinstripe clown. She was bred to a lesser clown last season. So if any uh, lesser stuff pops up, it would be retained sperm. But I'm assuming that the pinstripe clown got her. This is going to add a whole bunch more double het VPI Xanthic clown animals to uh, what I'm already holding back from this past season. Uh, it looks like a huge clutch. I see three eggs on the outside already and she's sitting on a whole bunch. So uh, let's uh, check it out. Holy moly. So, if you can't hear me, you always check, make sure mama's empty. She is empty. Put her up here. All right. These three were rollouts. That's why I write the R on them. Everything else I'm going to candle, but let's see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
This is 11 eggs, officially my biggest uh, clutch to date. I think one other time I had 11 eggs, but only once. Pretty candle the egg. Just looking for the veins. And right there, that's your embryo. So I put a little mark. Alright, and. Set up there. So I forgot to show them in the containers, but 11 good eggs. Near the top of the incubator, there's clutch one down there. There's still uh, seven good eggs there, but 11 good eggs. Alrighty, so um, I figured I would show off just some breedings that's going on right now. Um, what I will say is disregard or don't mind the um, dirty water bowls or poop in the cage when they breed they make a mess those of you that breed know that but if you didn't know that that's the case so these are all uh, pairings that were at least locked up this morning so we'll see if they still are oh uh, yep, there they are so that is a black pastel super stripe to a GHI chocolate head albino. Her follicles still aren't very big though. Uh, this here is a killer bee yellow belly to a pastel gravel specter. Her follicles are, are a little bit better. Um, what do we have down here? Oh, this is just a Enchi blade um, head clown to a head clown. Nothing in here. Yeah, nothing. Here. That's a little male I was trying out. I think he's too small still. I wanted to give it a try because she's starting to develop some follicles. Oh, finally. So these guys, they weren't locking up this morning. This is my blackhead hidden gene woma pastel male to a blackhead, um, uh, sorry, blackhead red gene pastel female. Oop. Uh, what else do we got up here? I uh, can't tell if they're still locked or not. But that's the Candino, Leopard Candino female, and the Albino GHI chocolate male. They were locked up this morning. She's in shed, but look how purple she is. All right, let's see. I can't get this male to lock, but we'll look. No, he's still not. So I'm gonna actually move him to a different female. Since he's not doing anything in here. I keep trying, this is a black pewter clown male, but he literally just will not do anything. I've tried lots of different girls. This here is a pastel fire lesser. 100% head clown, sorry, possible head clown female, 66%. So that'd be kind of cool if I could get them to lock up. So I just mark it so I know. Here's the clown pie girl. And that is a leopard yellow belly, 100% double head clown pie male. But uh, he's not really doing anything yet. He's still on the small side also. Um. Over here we have the, that's the leopard candino male with an albino girl. And then over here, oh, this one's kind of cool. This here is a black pastel het red exanthic spider, so a onyx bee, or onyx spider with a 
GHI Super Mojave and she has really big follicles right now that's a cool bearing everything in there will either be black pastel or het red exanthic and everything in there will have Mojave and then they also have the chance of being GHI and spider on top of all that this is so that male he's either an orange dream spider or a super orange dream spider and that's an orange dream female so I'm trying to prove him to be super orange dream meaning every baby will be Orange Dream or Super Orange Dream in this clutch. We'll find out. Uh, but that's another pairing there. Um, I think that's all the pairings. Oh, here's my new... I got a couple new spotted turtles. The big one in there is my original. You actually can't see it on camera. But there are some of the new little babies I just got. Um, here's all the rest of the babies. All of them, once the big turtles come out of hibernation outside... All the babies will get moved outside as well. Um, ooh, here, this girl's about to ovulate, or she is ovulating, so I'll show that off real fast, too. So, there you go, she's about to. This is a big pastel female. She's been bred by my banana clown male. Figured it'd be nice to make some uh, banana hats. Alright, uh, this is the next girl to prelay. She's in shed. That'd be cool. Pastel lesser yellow belly bred to a the pastel gravel specter. Um, let's see. I guess for updates, um, here's another cool one. She's about to ovulate like any second now. I know it's hard to tell there. But that's a pastel lesser um, head clown bred by a pinstripe clown. Anything else cool? Um, I'll show this girl off. This is the big blood blood boa sitting in the back there. She ovulated. She's cooking. She's due in June. I have a couple boas paired up, but at least as of earlier, yeah, they weren't doing anything. And then I got another pair down here. I literally cleaned them up, paired them up yesterday, and look at the mess that they made already. Now he was all over her earlier. But, uh, he's pretty nice looking. Yeah, they make a mess. If you've watched my past videos, then you know I always clean them up afterwards. So I try to do a clean before I put the males in, and then once I take males out, I do another clean. But here's all the eggs. That's one clutch on the top there. Clutch number two. There's clutch number one down there. Clutch number one is actually due in 25 days. Here is... The girl that's going to be giving me triple hats. That's clutch number three. So that'll be here in no time. Well, anyhow, uh, as things are getting busier, guys, as I uh, always say, hit that notification bell so you know when I do post videos. Um, hit that subscribe button below. Uh, give me comments. Let me know what's going on. Um, and, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. All right. Osmond Reptiles out.